How about this? A brand new bombshell whistleblower report alleges the existence of a secret Pentagon UAP and UFO program, and it's called Immaculate Constellation. The report, turned over to Congress, claims the government has high-resolution pictures of UAPs. In the latest episode of News Nation's Reality Check, Ross Colthart sat down with Michael Schellenberger, the independent journalist who spoke to that whistleblower. I hope at some point it does become public. Um, it's a fascinating, there's much more in it that I could, than I could summarize in the article, but there's just a fascinating description of, of different UAPs that, you, that we've all heard about, orbs and Tic Tac and discs and triangles and boomerangs and all the different, you know, you think about the Phoenix lights. And so you sort of, if you have some familiarity with the big UAP cases, it's very striking to see that there is a database of UAPs captured apparently by the Defense Department and the intelligence community in a database that Congress, at a minimum, the Gang of Eight should have access to. That would be something. That's on the latest episode of News Nation's Reality Check. All you got to do is just scan this QR code on your screen to watch that episode right now. Not right now, after I talk to Ross here. Joining me now, I have News Nation special correspondent Ross Colthart. Ross, good morning to you. Give us more. What more do we know about the whistleblower and this Immaculate Constellation program? Well, good morning, Marky. And firstly, it's multiple whistleblowers that are backing this account. I, I'm aware of allegations that this particular whistleblower has gone to Congress and given this evidence in a report. It's a, a very lengthy report that details and is supported by other people uh, with knowledge of this program, alleging basically that the RO, the Pentagon's UAP investigation office, and the Pentagon have illegally withheld from Congress knowledge of a secret UAP retrieval and reverse engineering program, and more importantly, that um, they are aware of a large body of information about UAPs, mm. particularly human intelligence, photographs, videos, and they're a very high resolution, much higher than we're used to from these blurry pictures we often get on TV. And, and I think the, the key incident that's the most extraordinary is there are allegations made in the report that one of the top line fighters in the US, the F-22 Raptor, was actually boxed in by as many as three to six orbs and forced out of an airspace area. The other thing, Ross, that caught my eye because I was reading Schellenberger's piece um, was also that a former intelligence official, maybe it's also another one of the whistleblowers, I'm not sure, confirmed the existence of this program, but adding that it's run out of the Secretary of Defense office and also warning that whoever even talks about it is put on government radar and is put in the danger zone. That's ominous, Ross. It is. It's very ominous. And look, I should note the Defence Department has issued a statement formally denying categorically that there is any special access program, unacknowledged, waived or special access program that has the terms immaculate constellation. But frankly, there are multiple sources backing Schellenberger's story and he's sticking to a story and saying he knows he's right. So really, it, it's a matter for the Pentagon now because they're going to be questioned. There's going to be hearings in the Congress. People are going to be deposed and asked questions. And if they have lied, there's going to be a reckoning. Do you, I mean, do you feel like where there's smoke, there's fire, Ross? You know, and what would be the harm if, if a program does exist? What would be the harm for the government coming out and saying, you know, we actually do have a department that looks at unidentified oh, objects such a for, good question. for national security such purposes? A good I question. don't get it. Such a good question. I, I, for the life of me, Marky, do not understand why we cannot be told what I strongly believe is the case, that the United States is in possession of non-human technology. Mm -hmm. Because like Mr. Schellenberger, I've been hearing the same stories from people inside the legacy program. And I think it's time for both presidential candidates to maybe think about fessing up and telling the truth to the public for once in a while. Yeah, I think a lot of people, a lot of Americans want uh, more, more proof in the pudding here, if you will. Uh, Ross Colthart, thank you so much. I can't wait to watch. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.